Reverend Insanity. Chapter 96 For the Sake of Those Who Died The primeval essence that Fang Yuan recovered while in the boar's stomach went unused ultimately. The beast horde this time was under the supervision of the Gu Yu higher-ups and the Lightning Wolf Gang was just a small accident. Quickly, the Gu Yu higher-ups gave their response. Three clan elders led their respective teams and swiftly grasped the situation. Merely ten minutes later, Fang Yuan could hear fighting sounds from outside the boar's stomach as well as the cries of the lightning wolves. He quickly kicked the female Gu Master out and crawled out with blood stains all over him. Fang Yuan was naturally not afraid of the lightning wolves, but he was afraid of getting caught in the battle. If a Gu Master accidentally attacked the corpse, wouldn't he be too unlucky? By then who can he hold responsibility for? With a big living person suddenly crawling out from the boar's stomach, this caused the few Gu Masters fighting the lightning wolves to be taken aback. Fang Yuan's entire body was a bloody mess and his leg was still entangled in the wild boar king's intestines. His entire body emitted a nose-piercing bloody smell and the few goo masters frowned in response. But Fang Yuan paid no heed to that, he breathed deeply in enjoyance, extending his limbs and observing the battlefield. As he had predicted, there were five lightning wolves. But these lightning wolves were either old or injured. They were the bottom of the pack's hierarchy. As the wolf pack got stronger and bigger, in order to protect the young and healthy lightning wolves, the wolf king would expel all these old and sickly wolves in order to allocate resources efficiently. These lightning wolves gathered together and rushed towards the surrounding beast groups and under each other's influence, eventually formed this small beast horde. The five lightning wolves quickly had casualties under the goo master's attacks. They were too full from eating, and their stomachs expanded, affecting their battle strength. At the same time, new arriving Goo Masters had sufficient primeval essence in their aperture and had their peak battle strength, unlike Jiosan and the rest. Primeval essence was especially important to Goo Masters. A weakened phoenix is inferior to a chicken with less primeval essence, a Goo Master's battle strength would fall rapidly and without primeval essence, they were even inferior to mortals. Why do you think, for example, the liquor worm, black and white boar goo, these goo were so precious? It had to do with this fact. Firstly, with the liquor worm, it can refine primeval essence and allow goo masters to store much more primeval essence. Remember that higher tier essence is essentially double of the previous tier 88% mid tier equals 44% upper tier and the black and white boar goo worms gave goo masters strength. Without requiring primeval essence, they can unleash their worth. And for the black and white boar goo, once one person has used them, they can be given to another person to use, showing great collective value in a group. The battle continued for a while and stopped. The five lightning wolves continued to fall, and the new reinforcement group did not venture further. Their primeval essence had been used up nearly, and their battle strength had been greatly reduced. To be safe, they stopped on the spot. As they recovered, they awaited further reinforcements. A group of five, with the reconnaissance goo master keeping alert, while the other three used primeval stones to recover their primeval essence, the healing goo master bent down and observed the female goo master's corpse. She's dead, healing goo master sighed deeply. Seeing his sad expression, it seemed like he knew the female Gu Master. Fang Yuan watched coldly. This female Gu Master, which he had knocked unconscious, was blocking in front of him. Now she had lost her right chest and a leg. Her arm was also greatly injured by the wolves, eaten until the bones could be seen. But these injuries and the massive loss of blood was not the true cause of her death. What caused her demise was cardiac arrest. The lightning wolves' bites carried electric currents with them. The currents flowed into the female Goo Master's body while she was unconscious and caused her to have a heart attack. The originally beautiful and sexy body was now lying on the ground, still and unmoving. Her previous glamour was nowhere to be found, being just an ugly dead corpse now. She's dead, and it is all your fault. As a man, why did you hide behind a woman? You're a disgrace to men. 
The healing Gu Master looked up, staring at Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan shrugged emotionlessly, his expression calm. The truth is, she competed with me over the spot, but eventually I won, so I'm very glad about the results. Scumbag! The healing Gu Master rushed up. Bam! Fang Yuan raised his feet and sent him flying. Healing Gu Masters were normally weak at combat, and because of the clan rules, he did not dare to use his Gu Worms. Just competing with physical strength, how can he be Fang Yuan's match? This detestable guy, Healing Gu Master crawled up with a dusty face and wanted to rush up again, but was stopped by the Reconnaissance Gu Master. If you think I committed a crime and caused her to die, you can report it to the Punishment Hall, I'll take it. Fang Yuan said lightly as he stared at the Healing Goo Master and left. Damn, damn it. The Healing Goo Master's eyes were blowing fire as he stared at Fang Yuan's back view, urging to rush up but was restrained by his teammates. Calm the hell down. Even if you report it to the punishment hall, the clan won't punish him. We know you liked her, but although the clan cannot punish him, we can spread this matter out. Under the urging of his teammates, the healing goo master calmed down and lowered his head, crying. A boat encountered trouble. A man grabbed onto a wooden plank and was temporarily saved. At this time, another man swam up and wanted to grab the plank as well. But this plank can only hold the weight of one man, so the first man pushed the second man away so that he could be safe, causing the other person to drown in the sea. The rescued man was later tried in court but declared not guilty. This is the wooden plank incident on earth. Meaning, to save oneself under forced circumstances, endangering another person's life is no crime. On earth, it is the necessity law. In this world, there are similar clan rules. This means, even if the healing goo master reports it to the punishment hall, I will not be punished, but... Fang Yuan continued to walk as he pondered. He moved in a steady pace without any rush. Along the path that had been cleared, Fang Yuan would discover corpses, the majority of these being wild beasts of all kinds of varieties, and in the mix were some goo master corpses. At the same time, there were small rescue groups rushing to the front lines. When they met Fang Yuan on the way, they would look at this bloody young man with curious and confused gazes. Fang Yuan paid no attention to them. His eyes were a dark abyss, continuing his train of thought. But, if the fact that I knocked the female Gu Master unconscious was found out, I would be tried for harming a clansman. Yet at that time, nobody should have seen it, Jiao San and Kong Jing were all looking at a different direction and rushing for their lives, eh? Fang Yuan's footsteps came to a halt. He saw the corpses of Kong Jing and Jiao San. The former's body had already been eaten until it was unrecognizable, while the latter's corpse was still well preserved. The red lava python was already a pile of lava rocks, completely dead. And beside the sickly snake, there were a few lightning wolves corpses. Evidently Jiao San's final struggle caused a huge battle. Good, that means that other than me, everyone else is dead. Fang Yuan evaluated internally, feeling joy. This means I would have fewer restrictions around me. Eh? Fang Yuan stopped, he saw Jiao San's finger twitch softly. Not dead, what a stubborn life, Fang Yuan snickered, killing intent rising again. At this point, there was tens of healing goo masters coming from the front. Quick, save the injured. They are our clansmen, we have to save what we can. If they are confirmed dead, retrieved their goo worms. Fang Yuan's gaze concentrated. What to do? They were so close, he would have to take a huge risk to kill Jiao San. Whether using strangulation or a moon blade, there will be traces. In front of these goo masters, he had no time to clear the traces. So, let him live. Even if Jiao San is treated now, he might not survive. No, if I can exterminate Jiao San, there would be a lot lesser opposition in my way. Such an opportunity if lost, I would have a hard time finding another one. Thinking of this, Fang Yuan had an inspiration. He gradually half kneeled beside Jiao San, removing his upper shirt and covering Jiao San's face and upper body. He was inside the boar's stomach for a long time, 
so the pig's blood had soaked his shirt, causing it to be heavy and wet. He put the upperwear on Jiao San's nose and mouth, preventing him from breathing. Fang Yuan half-kneeled, silently watching, his expression solemn and pained. At this point, a Gu Master came over. Little lad, I am the Medicine Hall's Gu Master, let me take a look. Scram, Fang Yuan growled angrily, pushing him away. The Gu Master fell on the ground, but he was not angry, instead consoling him. Little brother, my condolences, I know how you feel right now and I know how it feels to see the clansmen that you live with die in front of you. But you are covered in blood now, you must be heavily injured. For the sake of these sacrificed clansmen, you have to live properly. Come, let me heal you. Fang Yuan did not open his mouth. He remained silent, the lower half of his face covered in a dark shadow. He allowed this goo master to check his body. The result was rather surprising. Although Fang Yuan was bathed in blood, appearing terrifying to everyone, he actually had no injuries at all. But the Gu Master quickly collected his spirits, concentrating on Jiao Sen. I'm very sorry, the clan needs to take back the Gu Worms. The Gu Master sincerely looked at Fang Yuan, then he lifted the bloody shirt slowly off Jiao Sen. Jiao Sen's eyes were half open without any life in them. The Gu Master professionally used his finger to prop open Jiao San's eyelids, looking at his iris and then touching his neck. But he felt no pulse. Dead. Completely dead. The Gu Master did not suspect anything. He sighed and placed his hand on Jiao San's stomach. His stomach still had some warmth and the aperture was slowly disappearing. There were no Gu Worms inside. The Gu Master looked at Fang Yuan, whether intentionally or unintentionally, every Gu Master's Gu Worm is stated in writing, and after a Gu Master dies, his Gu Worms will be treated as an inheritance for his inheritor. Taking it for oneself is against the clan rules. Fang Yuan was fearless, staring right at the Gu Master. Of course I know that. You suspect that I took the group leader's Gu Worms? Taking these Gu Worms involved risks and trouble. If his secrets were dragged out, they would bring more loss than gain. Fang Yuan knew this, even if with the spring-autumn cicada he could instantly refine any goo, it was difficult to do in the clan. It was not worth inviting such troubles for these minute gains. Apart from than this, there was another point with his financial status now, even if he got them, he might not be able to feed them. To Fang Yuan's question, the goo master laughed quickly, I did not mean that, People cannot come back to life after dying, so please restrain your grief, little brother. For the sake of the deceased, you have to live even better. Fang Yuan gradually stood up. He used an extremely sad and pained expression, staring at sickly snake's corpse with rapt attention. The night wind howled in his ears. You are right. After a while, Fang Yuan broke the silence, his gaze determined, saying with an intentional meaning, for the sake of those who died, I have to live even better than before. Chapter 97 Devils Run Amok Internal Affairs Hall Interrogation Room The light of the winter sun shone on the ground through the only window. Fine dust particles slowly floated on the light pillar. The light pillar enshrouded a chair. Fang Yuan was sitting on that chair, bathing in the sunshine. In the darkness ahead of him was a long table where three elders were seated. The interrogation had already continued for an hour. Fang Yuan, are you sure there are no mistakes in your narration? An elder asked. Yes. Fang Yuan's eyes were down, looking at his toes. The sunshine shone on his fair face, making him look like a white sculpture. He had already expected this situation. After all, all his group members had died except him. In fact, every Gu Master would go through a certain degree of interrogation which conveniently helped the clan to gather battle statistics. But Fang Yuan was continuously interrogated for an hour. Clearly, someone was making it difficult for him from behind the scenes. This was completely understandable. As long as one was human and had social relations, there would be series of people involved. Then narrate your account on the battle situation at that time again. The elder continued to ask. Okay, I used several days to break through to rank two. Upon returning to the village gate, I met Kai Shan Group and reunited with Jiao San Group after finding them. 
At that time, they were having a fierce fight with the wild boar king, Fang Yuan calmly narrated. He took the initiative to reveal his breakthrough to rank 2. With no concealing Gu Worm, he wouldn't be able to conceal his rank 2 aura. Now the sickly snake and the team were dead, so he naturally fabricated the events. But he could only conceal some main details and narrate the majority of the events as they were. This was already the fifth time Fang Yuan narrated the events. The three elders frowned as they listened. They couldn't find any holes, but they knew if it was fabricated, then there would be unnecessary details. After one kept on talking about it several times, there would naturally be holes. But after five times, although there were some differences in how Fang Yuan narrated the events, the contents were the same. It should be true. The three elders communicated with each other using eye signals. But one elder was not satisfied. Her daughter was the sickly snake group's healing goo master whom she loved dearly but ended up dying a cruel death in the wolves' mouths. Thus she was very angry and her gaze carried coldness as she looked at Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan, you cut the knife scales net with your moon blades, why did you do it? This middle-aged female elder spoke sternly. Because I wanted to have some contributions, but it ended up being a bad move. Fang Yuan replied. Then let me ask you, did you intentionally use your teammate the female goo master as a shield when you hid in the boar's stomach? The elder asked again. I don't know. I was very scared at that time and hurriedly tried to hide inside the boar king, but she also entered inside and fought me for the inside position. She couldn't defeat me and was bitten to death by the lightning wolves, I am ashamed. Fang Yuan answered. The middle-aged female elder grinded her teeth. Fang Yuan's answer was cunning. He only stated the fact but didn't mention his subjective intentions at all. This made the elders who wanted to suppress him not find any handle on him. Their hearts were filled with anger, but they couldn't do anything. Under such situation, they couldn't judge Fang Yuan guilty. It had already been three days since the small beast died. The statistics of the casualties made all the higher-ups have ugly expressions. There were losses in the past small beast tides too, but they were definitely not as grave as this. The cause was the Lightning Wolves pack. Before, these lightning wolves' packs would only appear after at least three waves of small beast tide. The environment was dangerous in this world, survival difficult. From a human standpoint, to survive, apart from fighting with other humans for resources, they still had to struggle against fierce beasts and nasty weathers. And these struggles were often very difficult. The small beast tide was still only a prelude. The real terror would be the large wolf tide, a year after. Tens of thousands of lightning wolves would charge towards the village with the terrifyingly powerful lightning wolf king. The female elder continued to ask several questions, but she had to finally give up under Fang Yuan's invulnerable answers. Then Fang Yuan, what do you plan to do from now on? Another elder asked with deep intention. I plan to apply for the family assets, inheriting and continuing my family's heritage. Fang Yuan spoke openly, there was no need to conceal it. Sickly Snake Group was destroyed, and now only Fang Yuan was left. Because of this, he didn't have to use rank 2 Gu Master's right to give up a mission and could accept the family assets mission. The elder nodded his head then shook his head, you didn't understand my meaning. Apart from you, your group is no more. I can give you a suggestion, join another group. Internal Affairs Hall's mission's difficulty is designed for groups, it is very difficult for a lone person to complete them. Whether it is your family inheritance mission or the compulsory monthly missions, they are both like this. Fang Yuan was silent. This elder continued, of course, there is another option. You are already a rank 2 Gu Master. You have the qualifications to become a group captain. You just need to pass the examination mission and you can build your own group. Which do you want to choose? Fang Yuan blinked his eyes. I don't know yet, I need some time to consider. Then you can leave, think it over as soon as possible. After a few days pass, it will be difficult for you to join a group, the elder said concernedly. Fang Yuan sneered inwardly, he wouldn't choose any of these two paths. He had a lot of secrets. 
Only by himself could he be safe and do things properly. Otherwise, wouldn't he be annoyed to death if there were others with him all the time? Leaving this interrogation room, Fang Yuan didn't immediately leave the internal affairs hall, but instead applied for the family inheritance mission. However, he was informed that he could only take it after three days due to the busy events recently. Coming out of the internal affairs hall, he gazed at the sky. It was just an ordinary winter afternoon. The winter was bleak along with biting wind. The sky seemed to be pervaded with deep grief. Today is group memorial assembly. Gu Yu Jin Ju is dead, did you know Fang Yuan? Mo Bei, along with a group of youths, were walking through the path. Other than Mo Bei, there were Fang Zheng, Kai Cheng, and others. Mo Bei and Kai Cheng normally hated each other very much, but today they seemed to forget this grievance and walk together. Big brother, Jin Ju studied with us for a year. Come with us. Fang Zheng said. Gu Yu Jin Ju. A girl's image immediately appeared in Fang Yuan's mind. Previously, she had been evenly matched with Mo Bei on the arena, but lost because of her lacking stamina. She was a hard-working girl, but death didn't discriminate between beauty and ugly. Most people would feel pity, but Fang Yuan was indifferent as usual. Ah, she is dead, but dying of old or sickness, they are both normal events. After seeing it many times you'll be indifferent to it, you guys go, I am busy. Fang Yuan brushed past the group. This guy, at once, many among the group were angered. He is really cold-blooded and heartless. He simply doesn't have a feeling of friendship. He he, there is a rumor going around recently. You should have all heard it, right? The reason Fang Yuan survived was because he hid inside a boar's stomach and used his female Gu Master teammate as a shield. He is really a disgrace with no worth. He doesn't even have the manners of a man. Kai Cheng folded his arms and laughed coldly. Big brother, Fang Zheng lowered his head and grinded his teeth. Hearing these discussions as Fang Yuan's little brother, he felt shame. Fang Yuan left, and as he walked farther, the mockeries behind him gradually couldn't be heard anymore. His heart was calm. Why would insults matter to me? Insults were insults, what could they do? A superficial person would be angry due to curses and would be happy due to praises. These were just bystanders' way of looking at you. Those who lived according to others' point of view were really pitiful. In fact, some people had deliberately spread the rumors to degrade Fang Yuan's name. Sacrificing a female teammate to protect oneself wouldn't be subjected to punishment, but would be criticized by moral consensus. But this was the exact situation Fang Yuan wanted. Once one enters the system, one would be a pawn with no freedom and must follow the system's rules. To Fang Yuan, it was a huge obstacle. He needed resources and even more needed to be solitary. So, he wanted to be a loner. What if you were rejected by the crowd? Haha, -ha, only weak-hearted people would be afraid of being rejected. If this happened on Earth, no matter who, they would end up dead. After all, two fists can't beat four hands, social connections were the way to survival. But in this world, if the cultivation was strong, one person could beat ten hundreds and thousands of enemies. So what if you were rejected? Just kill the ones who block your path. If you don't have resources, snatch them. Every world had different rules and regulations. The society structure was also bound to be different, causing the difference in human behaviors. And in a world of martial arts, group thoughts were rather weak. So in this world, devils run amok. Chapter 98. Difficulty of Refining Gu What? That lad, he's a rank 2 Gu master now and even applied for the asset-splitting mission from the internal affairs hall. Uncle Gu Yu Dong Tu's furious and shocked voice reverbed throughout the main hall. That is indeed so. Although I accepted your primeval stones, I cannot do much to stop him. I only managed to tell him to collect the mission in three days. I can only stall that long for you, that is my limit. The middle-aged Gu master beside him said. Gu Yu Dong too snorted in his heart, he could sense the hidden meaning in the internal affairs hall's Gu master's words. Stall for three days, it is the limit. Such words were merely an excuse to extort even more money. 
but top priority now is still to do all I can to retain the assets. This rascal is really too troubling. Gu Yu Dong Tu's sweat poured from his forehead as Fang Yuan's growth was so rapid, it gave him the feeling of a heart attack. I came here especially to tell you this, so I'll take my leave now. The middle-aged man stood up to depart. Don't be in such a rush, brother. There are some things I still need for you to assist me a little with. Gu Yu Dong Tu hurriedly stood up, retrieving a money bag and stuffing it into the middle-aged Gu Master's hand. The male Gu Master took the entire bag of primeval stones and stuffed it into his chest pocket, his tone quickly changing, laughing loudly. Brother Dong Tu, you are too polite. We have such a great relationship. We've known each other for over ten years. Don't worry, I will prepare the toughest mission for Fang Yuan, but he might employ other Gu Masters to help him. You have to watch out for this. Hehe, <laughs> you can be rest assured. Although I have retired, I still have my relationships. I've sent people to observe him. If that lad employs outsiders, that is against the clan rules, and I am still waiting to get a hold of his weakness. He he. Then I am at ease, goodbye. Let me send you out. It is okay, please stay. Gu Yu Dong too stared at the leaving Gu Master, his smile slowly collapsing. This Fang Yuan, he is only C grade, how can he advance to rank 2 so soon? Damn it, what were Jiao San and the others doing? Can't even guard against a newbie. Sai, now Jiao San and the team were all killed by the beast horde, what incompetent fools. Fang Yuan also advanced to rank 2, this way he can definitely receive the family asset mission. My previous methods to block him will no longer work. But he is now working alone, and aiming to complete the asset inheritance mission alone is really difficult. No, this lad's luck is absurd, first I got Jiao San and the rest to suppress him, and immediately the beast horde came. If he relies on this luck again and completes the mission, what then? I have to prepare for the worst. An old sly fox, Gu Yu Dong too being able to enter and leave the fighting life peacefully and live up until now, it represented success already. Compared to the newly independent Fang Yuan, his interpersonal relationships were much stronger. Collecting honey wine? When Fang Yuan received the asset mission, his eyes shone with cold glimmer. This mission was very troublesome. It was to collect five liang one of Golden Bee's honey wine. Golden Bees were all fist-sized with gold and black stripes, and they had a sharp stinger packed with a strong attack. That was not all. Among normal small hives, there was only honey. Only those large or medium hives had the precious honey wine made from a large accumulation of honey. This mission, even for a five-man group, is very difficult. Because the number of people no longer matter, the goo master collecting honey wine has to have a defensive type goo to withstand the stings. It seems that uncle's relationship has struck and is bullying my lack of a defensive goo worm. Unfortunately for him, Fang Yuan laughed coldly in his heart. At this point, it showed the inherent benefits of the flower wine monk's inheritance. Easy to do things secretly, difficult to do things openly. The more one worked openly, the more their trump cards get revealed and they become easier to trap. Conversely, working secretly helps to hide trump cards and lets others be unable to assess your situation, thus not being able to nip the problem in the bud. But if I want to collect honey wine, the jade skin goo isn't enough. Jade skin goo is only a rank 1 goo, but if it can advance to the rank 2 white jade goo, I would be able to do it easily. Without the need to attempt to take risks, his rich life experience allowed him to take less pointless steps. Speaking of which, Fang Yuan is already a rank 2 initial stage goo master, but the goo worms on him, other than the spring autumn cicada, were all rank 1 goo worms. This situation is like a grown man who is able to wield a halberd only holding a small dagger. The dagger is unable to display the full extent of the man's strength, and only with a halberd is it the most suitable. Fang Yuan had seven goo worms in his possession. The Vital Goo Spring Autumn Cicada, Moonlight Goo, Liquor Worm, White Boar Goo, Jade Skin Goo, and Two Little Light Goo. In this mix, the Moonlight Goo can fuse with the Two Little Light Goo to form the Moonglow Goo. 
the white boar goo and jade skin goo confuse into white jade goo. Moonglow goo represents a surge in attack power, while white jade goo is an increase in defense. If Fang Yuan had enough primeval stones, he would choose to refine them both. But not long ago, in order to push his cultivation to rank 2, he expended most of his primeval stones. Now, with the primeval stones on hand, it was only enough for one use. Undoubtedly, choosing to refine the white jade goo is a better choice. With the white jade goo, I can retrieve the honey wine. And with the white jade goo, I can advance better in the flower wine monk's inheritance. But if this fusion fails, the results will be dire. My finances are on the brink of collapse, so without the white jade goo, I cannot get my parents' assets. Stuck at this point, it will greatly slow my growth. Fang Yuan felt a subtle pressure. He knew that he was at a crossroad, and if this fusion succeeds, the future is bright. If he fails, then he would fall into the abyss. To get back to the current point, he would need even more effort in management and spend a longer time. Gu masters use their primeval sea as the base and gu worms as the method. Gu is a gu master's necessity, without gu they are not gu masters. Other than their own cultivation, gu masters also have to refine, nurture and use gu. In the room, clan leader Gu Yu Bo meticulously explained to Fang Zheng. Refine, nurture and use. These three aspects, whichever one is also a huge knowledge trove. Even if you spend an entire lifetime, you cannot completely finish it. On the aspect of refining goo, you already know how to refine a goo and make it yours. But this is only a single refinement. There is also the more important aspect of fusion. Through fusion, you can fuse multiple goo worms into one with a higher rank. This is the evolution of life. Fang Zheng, you are already a rank 2 goo master, but your goo worms are all rank 1. It is time you refine a rank 2 goo worm. Fang Zheng asked, Clan leader, how do I do fusion? Gu Yubo said, To fuse, you have to know the recipe. Some goo worms cannot be fused together. Through many eons of trial and error and endless failures, our ancestors have come up with several recipes. Our Gu Yu clan has the most in-depth research with a moonlight goo, and we now have two rank 5 recipes on hand. What is a rank 5 recipe? In accordance to this recipe, through multiple fusions, one can finally refine up to a rank 5 goo worm. Fang Zheng, you have one jade skin goo and a moonlight goo on hand, it satisfies the condition for one of the rank 5 recipes. If you follow this recipe, you will get the rank 5 goo eventually moonlight treasure king goo. Moonlight treasure king goo? Fang Zheng's face was full of desire. Haha, <laughs> telling you about a rank 5 goo now is still too early. Come, take out your jade skin and moonlight goo, I'll teach you how to fuse these two goo into the rank 2 moon raiment. Saying so, Gu Yu Bo's expression turned solemn, the most important thing about fusing goo is parallel thinking, fusing your consciousness. The moonlight goo and jade skin goo in your hands now have no wild consciousness anymore, overwritten by your own consciousness. What you have to do now is to fuse these two thoughts together. Fuse together? Fang Zhang blinked, confused. Gu Yu Bo smiled. No worries, practice more, you will be able to grab hold of this feeling. Let's begin. Fang Zhang nodded, and under Gu Yu Bo's guidance, his light red-colored red steel primeval essence rose like smoke, enveloping the jade skin goo and the moonlight goo in midair. Fang Zheng shut his eyes, feeling and manipulating the two Gu Worms' consciousness. Gu Yu Bo was outside watching, and saw the Jade Skin Gu and Moonlight Gu circling each other like two planets. As the consciousness fused, the distance between the two Gu Worms shortened. After three hours of continuous tries, their consciousness was finally controlled by Fang Zheng and fused together perfectly. At once, the jade skin goo and moonlight goo both erupted in a bright white light. The two lights linked together, forming a lump as big as a face. Maintain this condition and throw primeval stones into the light. Gu Yu Bo advised. Fang Zheng took out a primeval stone and threw it into the light. 
Strangely, after throwing the primeval stones in, the stones turned into a surge of pure natural essence, completely fusing with the lump of light. Only rock powder remained, scattering on the bed. Continue throwing until the rank 2 goo is complete. Gu Yubo said. Fang Zheng was about to throw a second piece, but at this point, the light disappeared, and the two goo flew in two opposite directions like they were pushed away ruthlessly by each other. The fusion failed. Damn, I forgot to maintain the fusion of the consciousness earlier. Fang Zheng immediately realized his mistake. No worries, failing at the start is normal. Gu Yu Bo consoled, but reminded, but be careful, you cannot fail too many times, if not both the moonlight and jade skin goo will perish. Fang Zheng recalled back the jade skin goo and moonlight goo and found cracks on the moonlight goo's surface while the jade skin goo looked like it was weakened. His heart sank, feeling the difficulty of refining goo. Chapter 99 Human, Not God Crash Great waves tumbled in the primeval sea, rising up and down. The sea was light red in color. This was not the green copper sea of a rank one, but a red steel sea. The aperture was covered with a layer of light coating. This was the appearance of rank two initial stage. The whole red steel primeval essence sea occupied 44% of the aperture. Above the sea, the spring autumn cicada appeared. After going through a year of recuperation, it had already somewhat recovered. Previously, there was no shine from its body, it looked rough and dim like withered wood. Now it had some gloss to it. Its two wings had been like the yellowed and withered leaves of autumn, and the tips had been damaged. Now there was some green to it, and there were black leaf lines on its tips, making a complete arc without any previous defect. Spring Autumn Cicada, Spring and Autumn I see now, it needs to experience the changes of spring and autumn to recover. Since rebirth, a year has passed by, which means a turn of spring and autumn, and so it has recovered. Fang Yuan looked at the spring autumn cicada, and this thought rose within him, increasing his understanding of the spring autumn cicada by another stage. A goo master needs to refine, nurture and use goo. Among them use was further classified and contained myriads of variations. Fang Yuan had been in contact with the Spring Autumn Cicada all the time. His comprehension of the Spring Autumn Cicada was slowly accumulating and deepening. But the Spring Autumn Cicada is still weak, it has only moved a few steps away from nearing death. I can only use its aura to suppress goo worms and increase the efficiency of single refining. As for fusing, it won't be of any help. There were mystical goo worms that raised the success rate of fusion, Everything had their own specialties. The spring autumn cicada possessed the ability of rebirth. Other than the spring autumn cicada, there was the fat liquor worm, which was curled up in a round ball, floating and playing around in the sea. The ladybug-like white boar goo and the jade skin goo, which had green jade color, were revolving around each other. Fang Yuan opened his eyes and slowly unfolded his right palm. In it were the imprints of a crescent moon and two five-sided stars. They were precisely the residents of the moonlight goo and the two little light goo. Fang Yuan sat cross-legged on the bed, his line of sight falling on the bed sheet. There were three money bags on the bed sheet, two were bulging and one was mostly thinned out. Apart from this, there was also a snow-white tusk from the wild boar king. It looked like an elephant's tusk, lying close to Fang Yuan's leg on the bed sheet. Sickly Snake Group had used all their strength to kill the wild boar king, but they met with the lightning wolf pack's attacks, and the majority of the skin and flesh of the wild boar king had been eaten away by the lightning wolves. The two snow-white tusks were thus the most valuable spoils of war. According to the clan's rules and regulations, Fang Yuan being one of the members in killing the wild boar king received one of the wild boar king's tusks. Fang Yuan looked at these items, his expression was heavy. I don't have much primeval stones left, and it is only enough for one fusion. After this fusion, no matter success or failure, my financial condition will drop. But if I don't fuse it now, my primeval stones will only last for 12 or so days, and I will even lose the chance to fuse. 
Fang Yuan was raising seven goo worms so he had a large financial burden, and because of his C-grade aptitude, he had to repeatedly use the liquor worm to quickly improve his cultivation. Thus, his primeval stone consumption was more than an ordinary goo master's. Recently, he no longer used primeval stones to recover the primeval essence in his aperture. The red steel sea in his body now was all recovered by its natural self-recovery rate. Fang Yuan was already beginning to cut the primeval stone's consumption. He couldn't misuse them after calculating his expenditures. The current situation was like he was about to fall off a cliff. He could only grab on to the wild grass at the side of the cliff to stabilize his body without falling. But as time passed, these lifelines would be continuously used up. If he didn't take any risks, it wouldn't take long for him to fall off the cliff. What he had to do now was to use these lifelines and climb up the cliff with all his strength. If he succeeded, he could seize the opportunity to obtain the family inheritance and ascend to another level, and it would be a whole new scene in front of him. If he lost, he would drop down, and in trying to climb up to this stage again, he would need to spend large amount of time and energy. No matter what happens, let's begin. Fang Yuan took in a deep breath and focused his gaze. White boar goo, jade skin goo. The two goo worms followed his will, drilling out of his aperture and floating in front of Fang Yuan. Fuse, Fang Yuan shouted inwardly. White boar goo and jade skin goo suddenly emitted dazzling lights and directly bumped into each other. This was a silent bump, but it created a ball of light. The white light was more dazzling than before. This showed that Fang Yuan's two consciousness were fusing. Fang Yuan used his consciousness to maintain the white ball of light white, taking out primeval stones from the bag and throwing them into the ball of light. The primeval stones were engulfed by the ball of light and only rock powders remained, scattering on the bed. Each time the ball of light swallowed a primeval stone, its edges would expand a little. The ball of light absorbed the natural primeval essence and became bigger and bigger. Gradually, it changed from the size of a washbowl to a grindstone size. Almost there. Fang Yuan narrowed his eyes. He decisively threw the wild boar king's snow-white tusk into the ball of light. If anyone were to witness this scene, they would be astonished. The secret recipe of fusing white boar goo and jade skin goo to form white jade goo was well known and circulated for over a thousand years, but no one had ever heard of adding in a wild boar king's snowy tusk. However, not being used in the past doesn't mean that it won't be in the future. 150 years from now, a goo master would improvise this recipe. He discovered that adding a wild boar's tusk would greatly increase the fusion success rate. Fang Yuan had 500 years of experience, he naturally knew of this trick. The snowy tusk was thrown into the ball of light and a fantastic transformation happened immediately. The previously dazzling light turned softer. The light that was blindly shooting off everywhere now had a movement pattern to it, naturally changing between light and dark. Under Fang Yuan's gaze, the ball of light slowly shrunk and finally dissipated into the air. Instead of the jade skin goo and white boar goo, there was now a completely new goo worm calmly hovering in front of Fang Yuan. It was like an oval pebble, its whole body was completely white. This white was not pale like Xuan paper and was not milky white like milk, but was a kind of moist white like that of the luster of jade. This was rank 2 white jade goo. Only now did Fang Yuan let out a mouthful of turbid air, his heart relieved, you might think that this process looks simple. It is not. First, the consciousness merging needed multitasking. Drawing a circle with one hand and a square with another is called dual tasking. A lot of people cannot even do this, let alone the highly difficult multitasking. One can only achieve multitasking after years of hard cultivation, suffering through countless defeats and setbacks, and even then one would still need some talent. Fang Yuan could do this so proficiently because of his 500 years of deep experience. Not a hint of his experience was fake or forged. Second was understanding and knowledge of goo worms. The deeper the goo master's understanding of goo worms, the higher the success rate of fusing. 
this point, in about 300 years from now, would be a widely recognized knowledge. Thus, the longer you use goo worms, the greater the probability of success in goo fusion. Third was the correct and original recipe. For example, this time, adding the snowy tusk was like the finishing touch, increasing the success rate by 20%. Its efficiency was extraordinary. Some recipes were widely spread in this world, but there were many recipes which people would collect and weren't circulated. Such as in the Gu Yu village, the recipe of refining moonlight goo was held by a small number of elders and successive generations of clan leaders. Especially those rank 5 and above recipes, they would be hidden and treasured like their lives. Many Gu masters would not spread these recipes until death. But even with these three points, there was no absolute guarantee of success. Even a person like Fang Yuan who had 500 years of memories, plentiful experiences, deep understanding of goo worms, could multitask and knew a lot of recipes, had a possibility of failure when fusing goo worms. One can only say that his failure rate is lower. Fusing goo worms was an evolution of life, a type of creation. It condensed time to the extreme, making the long evolution process bear fruit in an instant. On earth, only gods could do this. This was no doubt a miracle of life. Gu masters making divine intervention with a mortal body, how could it succeed every time? If it succeeded every time, that would not be human, but God. Chapter 100. White Jade Gu. In the blink of an eye, ten more days passed. Deep in the mountain, in the underground rock forest, squeak, tens of jade eye stone monkeys jumped in the air with blurred silhouettes. They continued to leap and attacked Fang Yuan aggressively. If it was like before, Fang Yuan would retreat without a doubt. But now, he stood on the spot with a cold expression, still like a rock. The stone monkeys slammed, scratched, and bit Fang Yuan's body, but a crisp ding-ding sound could be heard, as if they were not attacking a person, but a sturdy jade pillar. A bright white jade light covered the area as it attached itself to Fang Yuan's body. This light, although it was thinner than the jade skin goo's jade green glow, it had more than twice of the defensive power. Jade skin goo's defense can only handle up to 16 monkeys' simultaneous attack, but now Fang Yuan could face off against more than 30 monkeys alone. On the arena, I could break Fang Zheng's jade skin goo's defense with my bare fists, but if Fang Zheng used this white jade goo, even if I broke my wrist bone, I would not be able to penetrate his defenses. Fang Yuan pondered while diverting a part of his thoughts towards his aperture sea. In the red steel primeval sea, the white jade goo sank to the bottom of the sea, constantly absorbing primeval essence. Its surface also emitted a faint white jade glow like a light bulb. Every time the stone monkeys attack Fang Yuan, the white jade goo's surface which resembled an oval pebble would flash faintly. At the same time, Fang Yuan could feel a trace of his primeval essence being expended. White Jade Goo's defense is the same type as the Jade Skin Goo. They both require a continuous source of primeval essence. At the same time, the greater the intensity of the attack, the more primeval essence is expended. Fang Yuan concluded in his heart. At the same time, he counterattacked. Punches and kicks kicked up a sandstorm. His strikes were simple, yet brutal and effective with an imposing aura. Although the white boar goo was gone, the strength it gave to Fang Yuan still remained in his body. Endless monkeys were hit by Fang Yuan. Some were kicked away, knocking on the stone pillar, some were killed in midair, turning into stone and breaking into fragments when they landed on the ground. At the same time, with a flick of his wrist, Fang Yuan sent moon blades flying around, like the scythe of the reaper, harvesting the lives of the stone monkeys. With the supply of red steel primeval essence, the rank 1 moonlight goo could cause the greatest attack damage to the monkeys with every hit. Squeak squeak. The stone monkeys screamed in fright, retreating. Fang Yuan had exterminated the stone monkeys in a short moment of counterattack, with only five or six remaining. Fang Yuan killed another, and the remaining stone monkeys broke down, frantically running around and escaping deep into the stone forest. Fang Yuan did not chase these escapees, but continued forwards deeper into the stone forest. 
These days, he had been working hard to find the next clue for the inheritance. With continuous exploring, he had stepped foot on most of the areas around the stone forest, but did not find anything. He had a hunch, vaguely guessing the flower wine monk's idea. He felt that the next step of the inheritance was likely linked to the most central area of the stone forest. The deeper he got into the forest, the larger the stone pillars were, and the more stone monkeys lived inside them. Feng Yuan walked as he observed at the center of the stone forest, there was a large stone pillar. Its circumference was wider than tens of men surrounding it and attempting to hug it. This stone pillar was his objective. But the deeper he got, the larger the monkey gangs and the higher the difficulty. Fang Yuan took a crucial step out and entered the alert zone of a group of monkeys. Squeak, squeak, squeak. The black caves in the stone pillar had emerging furious jade eye stone monkeys and up to a hundred jumped in Fang Yuan's direction. Fang Yuan ran for his life. Against so many monkeys, even with the white jade goo, he could not massacre them. The stone monkeys chased Fang Yuan for a while, then some started to abandon the chase and turned around, going back to their caves. Eventually, only thirty or so monkeys trailed after Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan, seeing the time was right, turned around and fought. After a round of fighting, the last few monkeys ran and escaped, not even daring to return to their original caves. After a few rounds, Fang Yuan killed over a hundred stone monkeys. On the road, there were traces of broken stones from the corpses of the stone monkeys. Insufficient primeval essence. Fang Yuan inspected his primeval sea and sighed, forced to stop in his tracks. If it was before, he would use his primeval stones to recover swiftly, but now, after fusing the white jade goo, he had a severe lack of primeval stones, or rather his entire finance was on the brink of collapsing. Fang Yuan picked up the jade rock eyeballs and stuffed them into his bag. It should be at the bottom of the center of that rock pillar, but to reach there, I have to open a path. This feeling was getting more intense, Fang Yuan gave it one last look before opening the stone door and returning to the second secret room. At the corner of the hidden room, there were some items. A small bag with hundreds of eyeball jades. Fang Yuan opened the bag and poured his loot in from today. The jade pearls collided with one another, emitting a crisp sound. There was another bag, and wild boar tusks were inside. But now Fang Yuan no longer needed to slaughter wild boars. He used the white boar goo and the jade skin goo to refine the white jade goo. The white boar goo had disappeared and reduced his necessity for pork to zero. The new white jade goo was more like the jade skin goo. It consumed jade rocks. Jade skin goo needed two liang of jade rocks every ten days, while the white jade goo needed eight liang of jade rocks every twenty days. Normally speaking, the higher the rank, the longer interval there is for each meal. Rank 2 goo usually feed every half a month, while rank 3 goo feed every month or longer. Of course, higher ranking goo also consume more food. On average, the white jade goo consumed more in cost than the jade skin goo and the white boar goo combined. But to Fang Yuan, he had this rock forest and did not lack jade rocks. At the same time, he did not need pork, so he did not need to kill wild boars, thus this saved him a lot of trouble and a lot of time. Tying the little bag up, Fang Yuan picked up a bullskin water sack. Inside the water sack, there was golden honey wine inside. A few days ago, Fang Yuan had relied on the jade skin goo and endured the bees' attacks and gathered enough honey wine. I only have two and a half primeval stones left, it is time to go to the internal affairs hall and turn in the mission. Fang Yuan kept the water sack well and returned to the tunnel, squeezing out of the rock crack and returning to the outside world. It was sunset now. The golden sunset of winter was in fact not cold, the weather bright and fair. The setting sun emerged with comfortable rays of a red-orange color, the exquisite sunlight passing through the crown of pine trees and shining onto the mountain floor. Walking alone, he headed towards the village. Yet Fang Yuan did not go directly, but took a few reroutes to prevent the rock crack from being found out. Winter wind blew on his face, this was the smell of freedom. 
back in the academy, he could only sneak out at night. Now that he was ranked two, he could move about freely in the day without any suspicion. More importantly, the death of Sickly Snake and the others allowed Fang Yuan to move alone with fewer restraints. The only thing is, Fang Yuan was now alone without any supporting group members. The following clan mission which occurs monthly, he had to complete one at least, and that would be difficult. Now, after the small beast horde, all the groups had regrouped. Fang Yuan had missed the chance. Because of his reputation, Fang Yuan was also ostracized by the Gu Masters. Joining other small groups was not going to be easy. So what if I'm left out? The more I float around at the brink, the less attention is on me, and the more advantageous it is for me. As for the clan mission, it is mandatory so I have to take it. But, thinking of this, Fang Yuan's eyes shone with cold light, he had plans already. The clan mandates that every Gu master had to accept a mission every month, but did not force them to complete it. Being unable to complete the mission will result in falling evaluation. This was something no Gu master wanted to see, thus they did their all to complete the missions. But to Fang Yuan, this evaluation was crap. Walking into the village, there was an endless stream of people walking along the limestone paths of the streets. At this time, it is normally the peak period. Many Gu masters complete their missions with injuries and whatnot, returning to the village. After working for a day, farmers drag their muddy feet and tired bodies, quietly moving along. In this world, living was not easy, it was full of pain and suffering. The setting sun slowly dropped below the mountain top, giving out the last ray of warm light. This light would be diminished by the unevenly criss-crossed branches of the withering trees, becoming the fragments of time scattered upon the green jade walls of bamboo houses. Oh no, my toy, a girl cried out, chasing her spinning top among the crowd. The spinning top rolled to Fang Yuan's feet, and the girl also hit Fang Yuan's leg, falling on the ground. Sorry, sorry, for offending Lord Gu Master, please pardon us. The little girl's father hurried over. When he saw Fang Yuan's clothing, his expression was white as paper, bringing the little girl and kneeling down, kowtowing to Fang Yuan. The girl cried out of shock, pearls of tears trailing down her white and rosy face. The walking mortals upon seeing this scene turned away and avoided them like the plague. Some goo masters stared coldly before turning away and leaving. Stop crying, you troublemaker. The father was frightened, angry and afraid, moving his hand to give her a slap, but Fang Yuan grabbed his hand, not allowing any movement. Just a small matter, no worries. Fang Yuan laughed lightly, touching the little girl's head, softly consoling, Don't be afraid, it is okay. The girl stopped crying, using her teary eyes to look at Fang Yuan, thinking this big brother was really gentle. Thank you Lord, thank you Lord for your kindness. The girl's father was overjoyed, kowtowing to Fang Yuan without a break. Fang Yuan continued forward. His rented house was not far away. And on the ground floor of that bamboo house, his uncle Gu Yu Dong Tu stood, staring at Fang Yuan who was still a distance away, evidently waiting for him.